Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will learn what are different types of functions and the categories of functions in the Dart. Let's start from the different types of function. In Dart, we have two different types of function: the predefined function and the user-defined function. The predefined functions are the functions which are actually available inside the language. These functions are also known as the library functions or the readily available functions. A function print that we are using from long time is actually a predefined function. So in case of predefined function, we don't need to worry about writing the functions. We simply have to call the function and just enjoy. On other hand, user defined functions are the functions which are actually written by the user that is by the programmer itself. And in this case, we have to define the function and it's you who will call and completely take care about the function. So you can see the function that we write in every program that is main is a user is a user defined function and cube is again a user defined function that accepts a number and returns the cube of a given number. Based on your function accepts a parameter or not and it returns a value or not there are four different categories of function. The first one is function with no parameter and no return type. It means in this case function does not accept any value as input and never returns any result as output. You can see I have a function called taste. So in this case I am not receiving any parameter or any value here. That's why it's a function with no parameter and the void indicates it don't have any return value. Simply I am printing hello inside the function. The second category is function with parameter and no return type. It means function will accept some value. It will process some operation over the value, but it does not return any result to you. Here I have a function called cube that accepts the number as a parameter. So it is a function with parameter, but you can see in this case, the return type is specified as a void. It means this function won't return any value. And as an operation, I'm simply printing the cube of number over the console. The third category is function with no parameter and return type. It means function won't accept any input from you guys, but instead it will return some result to you. I have function sum. It is not accepting any parameter. That's the reason this parameter list is empty here. So it's a function with no parameter. Inside the body, I have defined total three variables a, b and c. Inside c, I'm just calculating the addition of a and b and simply I'm returning that result. So in this case, as I'm returning the value of C means this function has some return value and as C is a variable type integer, I have written type of int here. So it's a function with return value. The fourth category is the function with parameter and return type. It means in this case, function will accept some input. It will process the input and returns some result as the output. So I have a function area here that accepts integer r that is the radius from the calling function. It calculates the area and returns the area of circle as a result. That's the reason I have specified double as a return type. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really like the way I'm explaining the concept, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.